What's up, family? This is a controversial one right here. This topic right here is one of the most controversial topics in all of the United States of America. Food stamps. The United States Department of Agriculture has completed a test study on food stamps. They wanted to know what are people spending food stamps on the most? What are they purchasing with these food stamps the most? Take a wild guess. Let me see if you can figure it out. All right, time's up. If you are a stockholder in Pepsi or Coca-Cola, you'll be happy to know that the number one item people are buying with food stamps are sodas. Yeah. Now, for years, cities, states, and medical groups have been trying to urge SNAP, which stands for Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, to regulate how people use food stamps. They're trying to get people to stop using food stamps to purchase junk food and sugary sodas. Now, with the price of water, can you really blame them? If you buy uh, a soda, you can get a two liter soda for a damn dollar. Whereas if you, can, you try to buy a 16 ounce bottle of water, it might cost you $2. So can you really blame people if you wanna buy liquids when you go to the store that people are buying sugary products? Can you really blame them? Now, I got to say this. I have been in line standing behind people who had a basket full of food. They had steaks and all kind of junk food and things like that. And they pull out that card, that, that welfare card, food stamp card, whatever. And they purchase the food with it. I ain't gonna lie, when I see them, those, those steaks, man, I, I gotta shake my head. But who knows that particular person's story? Who really knows that person's story? It could be a situation where that person, it was, they were celebrating a special day. We don't know that. We don't know if this is all that person purchases when they, every time they come to the store shopping with their uh, cart. They're just buying, it's just having a steak party. We don't know that. It could be a special occasion. Why can't a person who is on welfare have a special moment and say, you know what, I'm going to spend a little bit more. Now, keep in mind, if they spend more on steak than they would on chicken or beef or some other type of beef, you know, ground, ground meat or something, then... It's their suffering, not yours. That means that they have less to spread. Now, a lot of people like to say, well, you know, they should not be buying junk food and they should not be buying soft drinks and, and they try to judge people and they try to clump everybody who's on welfare into one big group. And that, that's really not fair because Everybody's story is different. What about the elderly and the disabled? There are many elderly people and disabled people who can't even stand up straight. Many of them can't see straight. So when you say get a job, I mean, is that really fair? Think about it. You know, I know you get tired of having your money used for certain, you know, things, well, especially when people abuse the program. Well, you know, there is abuse out there, just as there is abuse on every level of government, period, everything. There's Medicaid fraud. There's 
uh, tax fraud, I mean, everything, man. Y'all know, you get where I'm coming from. So I just don't understand why people like to target welfare recipients so much and just, again, try to lump everybody into one group. There's people who have worked their whole life and invested in stock and lost everything when the market crashed and the, the government owed them money and the government never paid them back. So they have to get some type of assistance. They worked, they worked all their life to earn that money. That's what welfare really should be for, in my opinion, more than anything, is to help those who can't help themselves. If you can help yourself, that's fine. But if you can't help yourself, that's what welfare should be for. Those people that are in transition, if you work your ass out, you know, even, even if you're not old, if you work, you pay taxes, you're giving these people 30, 40% of your income every time you get paid. And let's say you lose your job. You in between. The government should kick in. Those funds should kick in to help you out while you're transitioning. I don't know if that transition needs to be six months, eight months, a year, two months, whatever. But every person in America who pays taxes, and that means if you're living, breathing soul in America, you do pay taxes should have that same right, should have access at that program. Now, again, I know that there are people out there that abuse the program, and unfortunately, most of you guys, when you attack the welfare program, that's all that's in your mind. You're not thinking about the millions of other people who use the program that are not abusing the program. You only think about the abusers. So your response to welfare, food stamps, is always cynical. There are 43 million Americans. These are the poorest Americans that are on welfare. 43 million. So with that number, let's go ahead on and dispel a whole myth about welfare being a black people's thing. Because some of y'all in y'all little peewee ass brains, when you think of welfare, that's all you think about is old lazy fat black people. And crackheads. Crackhead black people. That's what you think of. That's the first thing coming to your mind. But the numbers say that's impossible for it to be a black thing because we only have 22 million or so black people in all of America. So if that's 43 million, even if every last person, every single black person was on welfare, including the little infants, the babies, <laughs> even if all 22 million black people were on welfare, you gave a check to each person. You still got another 21 million Americans that are receiving food stamps. What are you going to say about those people? How do you feel about them? You want them to die? You want them to go to hell? You want them to be locked up? You want them to starve? I don't think you want them to starve. I don't think so. So when people make generalizations and they just clump everybody in the one big group, it really shows your ignorance. It shows the level of ignorance that some people possess. Now, in the, in the wake of all of this, the, this, this report coming out, a lot of people lost their minds. Uh, again, why do they need this? Trying to tell people what they should be buying with the assistance that they receive. I personally think that it's a good idea to have some type of regulations on what people can purchase with those food stamps because I do know people that actually sell their card and all kind of crazy things. They do all kind of crazy things with, with the cards. 
But again, most people are not abusing the system and they don't deserve to be disrespected. They don't deserve to be shitted on. I was raised for 15 years on welfare. My mama received welfare for 15 years that I was alive. My first 15 years and it was used as a supplement. It was not a court, it was a supplement. Uh, my mom worked, got up off her ass five days a week and went to work for the city of Houston. Independent, actually, Harris, uh, Independ Harris County, I'm not Harris County, but uh, Houston Independent School District. She was a cook. So she had five kids. So her income alone couldn't pay the bills and feed us. So she received uh, food stamps. And I got to tell you, I'm going to be honest, it was embarrassing as hell. And I think that, you know, having to have assistance and ask for assistance for most people is embarrassing. I don't think most people relish in the idea of having somebody to have to take care of them or, you know, or to, to help them. I think most people have pride. Most people uh, don't want to receive government assistance. So this is the last result for most people, I do believe. Now, because most people that uh, that use food stamps, uh, they use it for two two reasons. You know, it's either to it's either because they can't afford food, or they're or they can't afford enough food. I do believe that's the primary reason why you know most people. Uh, use food stamps. And that's why most people need food stamps. Uh, people do what they have to do to survive. You know, when you, uh, when you face with certain situations in life, I was uh, just reading a, um, a, um, a notification, but when you, when you face with certain um, struggles in life, uh, when you put in a situation like this where you have to survive and you need assistance and you go to the government to get this assistance, people that receive these food stamps, the majority of people that receive food stamps, they are doing what they have to do to survive and they buying what they can buy, they can afford. Really, these assholes that make this food really should bring the price down where healthy food is more affordable. A lot of times, people who have money can't afford to eat healthy. So how do you think that somebody who is on welfare can afford to eat healthy? That's not fair, man. It ain't right. It ain't right to try to be self-righteous like that. Because you know, like I know, there's a lot of people that get up off their ass and work every day and don't have no assistance. And they always talk about how expensive it is to eat healthy. Most of them can't do it. So stop trying to be in that regard so damn judgmental, man. People buy what their money can afford. They try to stretch it as far, they try to stretch that stamp, that money, whatever type of funds you have, they try to stretch it as far as they can stretch it. You know, when I was growing up, and I know this happens today, most people buy food that can stretch. You buy as many beans, you buy rice, and you mix in some scraps of meat and try to make it go as far as you can make it go. And that's the reality for most people. So the next time before you become accusatory or critical of a person that's receiving government assistance. Be very careful because someday that could be you. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.